This is your teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're talking about transforming general to standard equation of our ellipse. Our first example is 4x squared plus y squared minus 32x plus 4y plus 64 equal to 0. So we will be converting this one into standard equation of our ellipse by simply first grouping those with the same variable so we have here 4x squared plus uh we have 32x with this with the x variable before that one is a minus so we have here minus 32x and then we have plus and then we have groups for y we have here y squared and then we have 4y so before that one is a plus so we'll be bringing that sign and then we move 64 to the other side so that will become negative 64. So next one, we are to check whether those with the squared variable has a number visible before that one, just like our x squared. We have the number four here, so we are going to take that out by factoring it out. So taking it out by factoring, we have that one as four. Then the rest of the terms inside the parenthesis will be dividing that one by four because four is taken out. So 4x squared divided by 4, that will be x squared. And then we copy minus 32x divided by 4, that will be 8x. And then we will be adding something to this one. And then we also do the same thing on the group, but on y squared here, we don't have a visible number. So we will not be taking out something from it. So we have here copying y squared plus 4y and then adding something to it and then that will be equal to negative 64 adding something and another something so here the one that we'll be adding will be based on the number beside x here so we have negative x i mean ne negative 8 we divide that always by 2 and then we square that one so that we can find the number to be added. So negative 8 divided by 2, that's negative 4 squared. That is 16. This one is also 16. And then we will also do the same thing on the other group. So we have here um, 4y. So we have 4. We divide that by 2 and then we square that one. So 4 divided by 2, that's 2 squared, that will be 4. So we will be adding 4 here. Now on the other side, since we've added 16, supposedly we are adding 16 there, but we have 4 outside. So instead of 16, we'll be adding the, there 4 times 16, where 4 is the number we took out and 16 is the number added inside. And then on the other one, since we've added 4 here, we don't have a number visible outside our grouping. So we will only be adding 4 here. Simplifying that one, we have now 4. We will now be factoring those trinomials. So we have here x squared minus 8x plus 16. Factoring that one out, that will be now Square, square root of x squared is x and then we have minus to copy this one here and then we get the square root of 16 that will be 4 and then we square after that one and then we do the same thing on the other side so we have here y squared getting the square root of y squared that is y we copy the next sign which is a plus and then we get the square root of the last term which is four square root of four is two and then we squared after so this is now equal to negative 64 plus four times 16 four times 16 is 64 so this will now me be a zero so this one and that one will become a zero because this one is 64 here the four times 16 so we are left with four added so that will be equal to four then uh, we are not yet done because on ellipse the standard form of the ellipse we always have to make sure that the right side is equal to one so since we have four here we divide that by the by itself and so with the other side, we always have to divide this, whatever we've divided on the right side, to both of the terms. So simplifying now, this will be canceled. So we have here x minus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared 
over 4, and that's equal to 1. So this is now our standard equation of our ellipse. So we go to the second example. We have here x squared plus 5y squared minus 8x minus 30y minus 39 equal to 0. So first thing is we are going to group those with the same variable. So we've got x squared. Next is 8x. We are to make sure that we bring the sign before that one. So minus 8x. And then the other group will be separated with a plus, and then we group those with y's, starting off with 5y squared, and then we have the other y. Before that one is a minus, so we bring that one, so minus 30y, and we move the constant to the other side before that one is a minus, so this will now become a plus or positive on the right side. Now we are going to take out those numbers that we, we have beside those with squared variable, if not, then we are going to uh, simply add one term so that that will become a perfect square trinomial. Starting off with those x, so we have here x squared minus 8x. Since we don't have a number visible beside x squared, we do not take out any number at all. So we will be adding something to it. And then on the other side, on the other group, we've got 5 beside y squared. So we need to take it out. So taking out 5 by factoring, so we have here 5y squared divided by 5, that is y squared, minus 30y divided by 5, that is 6y, and then we have that one equal to 39. So next one, we are going to, and by the way, we will be adding something to that group of y so that it will become a perfect square trinomial. And we have on the other side 39, we will be adding also the number that we've added on X and also with the group of Y. So next, we are going to identify what numbers will complete this perfect square trinomial. So we start with getting the number beside X, which is negative 8. We're dividing that by 2, squaring that 1. We have negative 8 divided by 2, that's negative 4 squared. That will be 16. So we're adding 16 here. Since we don't have a number outside, so we will be adding 16 also on the right side. So next one, we do the same thing on the, the other group. So we have here, beside y, negative 6. So we divide that by 2, square that 1. We have negative 6 divided by 2, that's negative 3 squared, that's 9. So we're adding 9 here, but on the other side, we will be uh, multiplying our 5 by 9. Because we have a number outside, which is 5, and we've added inside 9. So, we will be adding uh, 5 times 9. So, next one, we will be factoring. So, factoring the perfect square trinomial here. So, we have it as square root of the first term, which is x squared. So, that will be x minus, because we have a minus after that one. So square root of the 16, the third term here, so that will be 4, and then we square. Next, we are going to get also the, the factors of the, tri the perfect square trinomial on the second group. So we have here square root of y squared, that's a y, followed by a minus sign. So we have minus here, square root of the last term, which is 9, that will be 3, and then we square. That will be equal to... 39 plus 16 plus 45, that is equal to 100. We will now be dividing this by 100 so that the right side will become 1. We do the same thing on the other side as well to each of the terms. And then we have it as x minus 4 squared over 100 plus we are going to cancel common factors here between 5 and 100, which is 5. So 5 divided by 5, that's 1 times y minus 3, that will be y minus 3 squared. Over 100 divided by 5, that will be equal to 20. And that will be equal to 1. So this is now the standard equation of our ellipse. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope that you've learned something from me. So please always remember, study, practice, and you will get that one and master that one eventually. Once again, thank you for watching.